Hey there, Chad here for the AI Content Dojo. In this video, I want to explain how to be the boss for Jarvis in his boss mode. <laughs> Essentially, what I'm going to show you is what I think is one of the best ways of getting the content that you want from Jarvis. And I think one of the things that we get caught up on is that you know Jarvis can do pretty well sometimes, especially in, in a lot of common uh, topics uh, with just kind of generating content. And I want to try to push you away from the concept of generating content as if like you're trying to just create con content like as fast as humanly possible or, you know, inhumanly, I guess, <laughs> but more towards actually using Jarvis like an assistant like Jarvis is literally like an AI assistant just kind of sitting right next to you and doing some junior writing for you and that means being a boss and being a good boss is much different than being something of a bad boss where you know you make it difficult for Jarvis to do his job and then you don't get the content that you want so let me just see if I can show you what I mean let me go over to the compendium in the AI content dojo if you don't know what this is, I talk about it quite a lot. It's basically a compendium of all the different kind of commands and things that I've discovered and come up with on my own from myself and, and people in the AI Content Dojo Facebook group and, uh, and elsewhere in the Jarvis community as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look up product description. Um, just want to get some content. I'm just going to just copy this. And this is, let's say that our company... Uh, let's say that our company is called Backyard Stars or something like that. And we created Birdie. It's a revolutionary backyard bird feeder with a 360 degree ultra HD camera, an award winning design, and it's squirrel, squirrel proof too. Um, I don't know why that was like really hard to say almost for a second there. Uh, so what I want is Jarvis to just kind of give me some content. And so I'm going to run this as a command. Give me some product description of Birdie Jarvis. Look at that, I even put a little TM in there. Nice, okay, okay, cool. Wow, wow, okay. Getting quite a lot of content out of this. All right, good, good. I'm gonna show you a couple of things um, that I think is gonna be really helpful as far as getting the content that you want from Jarvis. So, obviously Birdie is a fictitious product. It's not real, Jarvis doesn't know anything about it, except for what I fed him and he kind of, you know, used that to kind of come up with this. You know, he knows that it's got a camera, it's got a nice design, it's in your backyard, you know, those kinds of things. Is There's some stuff that he can work with because I gave him that content to work with. And so, you know, he kind of came up with things like feeders lens rotates every 10 seconds and it can stream in real time live HD video to your smartphone. Um, just go ahead and break these things down a little bit here. Now, it stops talking about smartphone here, right? What if I kind of wanted to add a little bit more content about smartphone to it? I could just kind of come here and hit Command J and hope. Let me just switch this to short. I like to work in shorter, by the way, because I, I like to work more with the AI. Let the AI write a little, I write a little kind of thing. And this is what it means to be a good boss. Let me hit uh, Command J here and just let Jarvis take over and write something here. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Controlled up to 100 feet away. It works on a rechargeable battery, which, okay. I don't want to talk about a rechargeable battery right there, but actually I don't really want to say it can be controlled 100 feet away. In my opinion, if it was an iOS device or Android device, you should be able to kind of control it from anywhere, right? Uh, so let's just say that for some reason I can't get Jarvis to tell me that it can be controlled from anywhere. Uh, now it's time to kind of take over. I'm the boss. I need to give it some instructions. Um, you can control birdie from anywhere. All right. Now I'm at the point in the sentence where I've kind of gotten most of my point across and I feel like the rest of the words are pretty much, uh, set. You know, I can probably predict mostly what Jarvis is going to do, although it's AI and Jarvis can do anything. But the sentence should should end up pretty well in, in, in control already. And I like doing this for a couple of reasons. One, it, it helps me write faster because I can I don't have to finish typing the worst the rest of the words. Also, it will 
Uh, Jarvis will go out there and sometimes just add a bunch of stuff to it that's actually on point or is pretty close or like a sort of a small tangent that you could also use elsewhere in your content. It's really, really nice. So let's see what Jarvis comes up with. And <laughs> you can control Birdie from anywhere and get updates when he has a new guest. That's actually pretty funny because, you know, I'm assuming that the, the, the guest would be a bird that shows up. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, cool. All right. So I like that. So what, what you saw me do is kind of not finish a sentence. I wrote the sentence to the point where I feel like the rest of the sentence is just going to come naturally. And then at that point, let Jarvis take over. That's being a good boss. You know, you probably don't want to start a start off with something like, um, let's see, birdie can be, right? Uh, it's, of course, Jarvis has looked back, so he can see back to here. So he's, he has some context to work with. But what is this sentence about, right? You know, it's, if you're telling, if you're telling Jarvis like Birdie can be, Birdie can be what? You know, it can. Jarvis is going to have to use his imagination, and maybe you already have a little bit of something in mind of what you want. But Jarvis is going to have a really hard time, you know, figuring that out. Uh, I also use another example. Um, where you might be trying to do a command that says something like, uh, um, let's see, like parks, right? You'd be like, uh, tell me the best parks, right? Okay. Jarvis can probably work with that. You know, you could probably come up with some parks that are the best. I mean, whatever best means, right? But the problem is, is what if you're specifically taught, like you're the boss, you're writing your article, your article's about, you know, parks in New York or something. And you go, tell me the best parks. You know, Jarvis has no idea that you're talking about the best parks in New York. Um, are you talking about the best city parks in New York? You're talking about the best private parks. You're talking about anything that's, you know, out there that could be, there's a, there's a, a range of different things for a variety of topics. So I think what my point is, is that when you're being a good boss, you just think about it for a second. And flip it around, you know, like imagine that you were getting a, a, a task from your boss and the, and the task was really vague. You know, you know that you could come up with 10 or 15 different ways of solving it or coming up with whatever that, that the boss was asking for. But you know that only one of them is really what the boss wants. And so you don't have enough information because you're, what do you do? Like what do you just kind of wing it and you just see what happens and hopefully the boss doesn't get mad at you. Um, so you would probably in the real world, you would go like, Hey boss, um, I don't really have a lot to work with here. Can you tell me a little bit more about it? Can you tell me some specifics that you're looking for? And so that's what you need to do to Jarvis. When you're, when you're in the middle of your sentences and you're getting ready to write something, just stop and think about it for a second and be like, well, okay. With what Jarvis has in front of him, will he have enough information to be able to produce the content that I want? Next, the want next part, right? Because you're going to be creating that content, but it's it's going to be able to create something. But what is it specifically in that moment that you want? Does Jarvis have enough of a lead? Does he have enough information to be able to make that possible? Sometimes that, that answer is yes, and that's when you hit compose and you just go on. If that answer is no, like if, if I just, if I cut this off and I say birdie can be, you know, Bertie, he doesn't have any more information. Uh, so, you know, he's just going to write about something random. Let's say if I run this as a command. <laughs> See, Bertie can be described as a group of organisms <laughs> which have a common feature that is feathers. Um, yeah, that's sort of the scientific meaning of bird or something, right? <laughs> um, yeah, so as you can see, you probably need to be a little bit more specific with it. And that's kind of what I mean about being a good boss is just, you know, take a moment. Don't, it's not always about just rushing through your content as fast as you can, because there's a couple of scenarios that kind of happen here, right? When you're doing your, your auto generation method, like where you're, you're just hitting the buttons as fast as you can and boom, lots of content is there. You're getting content that is sort of hyper generalized. It's probably a little fluffy. You're probably going to need to run it through something like uh, Grammarly to kind of do a lot of fixing up and rewriting of things, make it sound a little bit better. 
but it's going to be missing your narrative thread for that you're trying to you know create for your reader it's going to be missing all that stuff but when you do it this way when you're just kind of i wouldn't say slowly but i say when you when you kind of step through your article one sentence at a time you know you write a little you let jarvis write a little you give jarvis enough information to understand what it is that you're looking for next and you just kind of go back and forth with them the whole way through your article i call that the dance right i know that the the jarvis team have used my my term the dance in their help articles and this is me describing it just a little bit more but basically when you're going through your your content and you've got you got that dance going down good what happens is you're getting more on point content for what you're looking for and you get the opportunity to kind of tweak it and fix it as you go and with jarvis the further down into your article you go the more that you've been making sure that it's on point for you it's kind of got your voice it's carrying your narrative thread along you've got your reader in mind then you know that as it gets further down he has more to work with and he'll start recognizing those patterns that you're kind of creating for yourself. They're they're kind of subtle, right? They're, they're patterns that kind of, they're things that you do that you might not recognize, but Jarvis will. And so over time, not, not saying in new articles and stuff, but over time in this particular article, as you get further down into it, he's going to get better and better at creating that content for you. But you always need to be leading it. And uh, that's sort of what I wanted to get across in this article. And so that's it. Be a good boss. Sometimes think about flipping it around a little bit. Like if you accept an, a task from your boss and it's really, really vague, think about how would you you know, prefer to have those tasks assigned to you and do that for Jarvis. And I think you'll see a better outcome in your content and a much better, uh, more enjoyable experience using this uh, amazing tool. Also, if you're not subscribed to the if you're not in the AI content dojo Facebook group you probably should be we talk about cool things like this and share ideas and things and a lot of the compendium was actually formed from people's experiments and stuff in that group uh, also if you don't if you're not a subscriber to Jarvis if you don't own Jarvis if you're not if you can't use it and you're looking to potentially purchase it I would really appreciate if you use the link in the description if you do that the Jarvis team will give me a small commission which will help the AI content dojo create more guides like this and uh, I look forward to helping you in the future and uh, until then take care